Welcome back to Orlando Matters. I'm Keith Landry. Alan Grayson joining us today on Orlando Matters talking about Congressional District 8 representing the eastern side of Central Florida, you might say. You've been talking a lot about the economy, about the budget deficit. You're very concerned about that. What about the war in Iraq? What, is, we have how lost, long are we going to have troops there? We, we should have been out already. We have lost our way. The, the simple solution to the war in Iraq is you destroy the enemy, you end the war, and you get out. You mm -hmm. bring the troops home. Mm -hmm. We don't just pussyfoot around the way we've been doing and have 120,000 people with targets on their backs over there. Mm -hmm. It is not our responsibility to have the Shiites and the Kurds and the Sunnis love each other. Mm -hmm. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to think about what's good for ourselves first. They've been fighting each other now for 1,300 years. We're not going to make them stop. Mm -hmm. It's time we just got used to that. And in fact, George Bush's greatest legacy, the thing that people will remember W for more than anything else, mm -hmm is that he put in charge of this country, Iraq, he put in charge of that country an organization called SCIRI. Do you know what SCIRI stands for? I don't. SCIRI stands for the Supreme Council for Islamic Revolution in Iraq. Mm -hmm. That's the group that's now running the Iraqi government. It's run by an ayatollah. Those are the people who George Bush helped to get into power, and he put them in charge of the second largest oil reserves in the world. Mm. That's what W will be remembered for. Wow.